you know, like any job, like any any path to success, you're going to have to put in the reps, you're going to have to create a system for all that. Um, are you time blocking your calendar? And are you doing the things you need to do every morning? Welcome to the Agent Growth Lab podcast, the show that's all about taking control of your success. If you're a realtor, financial planner, business owner, or anyone who's ready to grow your business, you're in the right place. Join your host, April Russell, each week as she jumps into the lab to find out what professionals are doing to master their success. So let's get started with this week's episode of Agent Growth Lab Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Agent Growth Lab Podcast. I'm your host, April Russell, and joining me today is Ethan Ocean, who is the broker and owner of the Ocean Group. Welcome, Ethan. Hi, April. How are you today? I'm doing well. I'm so glad you're able to join us today. So guys, I asked Ethan to join us because I think he has a great perspective on how, well, I love his story of how he started, but also he is again, a broker owner of a firm and that wasn't always the case. So we're going to be talking with Ethan today about his real estate journey and what of course made him make that decision to actually start his own firm. So Ethan, take it away and just kind of tell us how, how you got started. Like you haven't always been in real estate, right? Not always, uh, not, not since birth, but, uh, feels like it sometimes, <laughs> but it's been about 10 years for me. Actually, I got licensed, uh, this time 10 years ago in Greenville, North Carolina. So the start was there in 2014 and without much direction, uh, just decided to get my license and see where it took me. Absolutely. So what were you doing before that? Like, tell us about some jobs that you've had before. I, I have a long list. So for the sake of time, uh, I kind of simplify my background. Uh, we're looking at, uh, basically sales, uh, marketing, and the service industry, uh, those things are all helpful. I mean, it takes taking me to my passion for uh, serving people, uh, serving clients, really just kind of providing that experience. And um, yeah, I do, I think sales and marketing, coming from that background, really uh, is translated well into real estate. Yeah, absolutely. So, all right, so you've been in a business now for 10 years. And walk us through that journey. So 10 years ago, you got your license, you started selling real estate. Like, how was it initially for you? Yeah, it was uh, it, it was daunting. You know, it was uh, not something I had uh, pictured myself doing by any means. Uh, when I moved to North Carolina, um, my one uh, contact here had uh, talked me into it, saying, you know what, get your license. And while you're out here adjusting to a new state, new life, uh, you know, try real estate. His mother is a big uh, broker in the Greenville area. Uh, met her a little bit and talked, talked to her. her her way of life seemed nice and uh, love her attention to detail, her personality. So uh, get that license. Started started slow, of course, and um, but had fun early on. You know, I, I um, thought I could conquer the world out of real estate school and uh, got a license and joined a, joined a big box firm and got some uh, some assistance there. But as, as a lot of people realize, it's it's a, a an individual sport, per se, or can be. And uh, learned a lot from their, their books and their the training that firm offered. And from there, it wasn't until I was recruited to a team. And I'd say in, in residential real estate, I definitely have, have experienced quite a bit in the team aspect to uh, broker owner to individual agent. But with that um, team, it was great. Uh, essentially working the online lead aspect, uh, meeting new people, seeing, you know, selling some in all, in all different sorts of situations. So it was a great experience. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing that in Greenville. And then from there, I got opportunity in, in Raleigh, which uh, I am here today still and absolutely love it. But before that, uh, I had made that one sale in Raleigh. I had uh, been here, I think, uh, one time, I think, passed through to the airport. So didn't know much about the town. I was living a Greenville life and uh, was was content there. And uh, again, sold the one house in Raleigh and the, the broker or that agent on the other side, I was saying, you know, do fantastic work. You ever thought of moving to Raleigh? never thought of it let's uh let's give it a shot you know i was kind of uh i was just down for more opportunity and saw that raleigh with that place i offered it but uh no it was it's been great since that was nine years ago and uh again been here since um i guess i'll take the pause in the action that took me to raleigh and, and remax with so new brokerage and uh new beginnings new small team so it was it was uh you know fresh times <laughs> yeah absolutely so what I hear you saying so far, of course, is that prior to you starting real estate, the background that you had in like sales and marketing, of course, has definitely helped you 
you know, along this journey that you've had with real estate so far. So you left Greenville, you came to Raleigh, and you've been here for about nine years, you said. So now you're the broker owner of the Ocean Group. So tell me, let's just say I'm an agent, I'm with the firm, and I'm debating. Do I want to <laughs> jump out there and do this thing on my own? Walk us through kind of that, I guess, thought process behind it for you and what ultimately led you in, into making that decision, which I, I'll say it for you. I'm pretty sure it was the best decision um, just just from knowing you and your team and, and how you operate. But tell us a little bit more about that, how you came to that decision. Yeah, I think with a lot of great decisions, they're, they're not made or they're made for us. We don't tend to not make them um, ourselves. And uh, that's kind of how it happened. Uh, with the Ocean Group, as we are now, a brokerage of about 40 agents. Um, we're, we're happy. We're, it's, a, it's a great community. We all look out for each other. Uh, we operate, I like to say, as kind of the best of, of all worlds of other agencies. Um, fast forwarding a little bit from my track to, to Greenville, to Raleigh, to 2015 to 2020, I was with a couple of different brokerages, was able to work under some fantastic bits um, to name drop uh, Travis Everett. Um, well, that being one of them, and just people that I, I learned a lot from, just observing and seeing how you, you know, treat agents, what other agents are looking for uh, from their BIC and from their from their firm, you know, what's that, that give and take between brokerage and agent? Um, it was it was fantastic. It was a lot of growth going on there. I was able to succeed as an independent agent, and uh, never thought of owning my own firm. What I did do was get into management. I uh, applied for a position with the firm, the franchise I was with at the time, in 2018 to be their BIC. Um, love the model my the franchise owner put me under so you know learn from me uh, get under my wing and and learn, learn the game and learn how to manage 100 plus agents so it wasn't uh, I didn't go out there from day one just, just doing it I was able to kind of learn through a process and learn directly from that person uh, did that for a few years uh, being a big uh, managing a couple of different franchises and which took me to fall of 2020 where um, as changes and disruption happen it uh it came a lot for me and wanted to get back to the basics of really client facing and client serving and not deal with the bureaucracy of a corporate real estate franchise. Um, what It was one more case of disruption where it was another sale of the company I was working for and um, kind of coming to a light moment where one of our agents said, hey, kind of becoming too much for me here. Um, I'm not sure if I can make this uh, change again you ever thought about starting your own firm? I'm like, yeah, you know, everyone, I think us as agents all kind of think about it. Oh, I imagine this, my name in the bright lights and, and <laughs> I'm sure it'd be the best. But there's so much comes uh, along with that. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, nah, I haven't thought about too much. What are you thinking? And he's like, well, if you did, I'd, I'd be right there with you. And from then I kind of talked to some other agents at that firm and you know, got their feedback. And when that firm I was managing uh, sold, we decided to jump ship. And just a couple of us, a few of us, um, started it and started the ocean group. And from there, it just kind of just, just took its own life and just took off, took off from there. Um, it's, uh, been fantastic. I mean, as you say, April, the best decision uh, I ever made, I can say we ever made, um, able to, based on my experience of, of managing running firms for years, um, you know, putting together a good staff, putting together that, uh, team and really knowing what it takes to be available and meet certain demands that, uh, other professionals have. Yeah, absolutely. So when you started the Ocean Group, you started with how many? Because I think that is really important to highlight the growth that has happened for you and your team. Um, so you started with how many? Uh, myself plus five people. Five. No, okay. So yeah. six people. And now yeah. you're at what, 40? We have 40. 40 it's a, we got 40. That is awesome. Yeah. Clapping it up for you. <laughs> That's amazing. Amazing. So we all know, of course, you know, 2023 had its moment. You know, we, I would love to just leave it where it is, right, in the past. But, and, and you don't necessarily have to answer this just to 2023, but just in general, of course, because you have that experience with managing agents. But when you're looking at a year like 2023 was, Tell us some things that you were able to do with and for your team to kind of keep them motivated, keep them in the game. Because I know 
you know, it, it was it was a roller coaster, <laughs> uh, right? Man. Up one day, down the next, that kind of thing. So tell me some things that you uh, do with with your agents to kind of to, to keep you know keep them motivated so you can keep their head down and and stick with it and stay with real. Mm-hmm. Cause it, it's an amazing field of work to be in. Yeah, it absolutely is amazing. It's, it's given us uh, you know, so many uh, gifts and and just the relationships that have been built from this have been, been fantastic. But my favorite part of it. And that's that's really what it is too. It's not forgetting, you know, why we're here. Um, that that why which got you into real estate. You know, what what is that motivating factor? You know, is the money? Is, is the freedom? You know, remind the agents of what they're here for. Um, the people they've they've served in the past. You know, those good feelings of hey, twenty three might not be your sales goals, but it's that one person you're affecting that, that just means the most. And on top of that too, it's it's consistency, um, it's accountability. You know, like any job, like any any path to success, you're gonna have to put in the reps, you're gonna have to create a system, follow that. Um, are you time blocking your calendar? You know, are you doing the things you need to do every morning? You know, what what's your routine? So it it it, it is. Uh, we can't. We've reached a point where we can, I cannot serve every agent a one on one every day. That, that's impossible. But to have our for them to see me there every at the same place every week, you know, once twice a week. You know, that's the person I want to be. That's a, that's a big I want to be for them to be, be available, you know, and, and, you know, Vic as, you know, our, our broker owner, um, of the group. So it's, um, we have, you know, the, the tools and we provide agents with some, some great resources and, um, you know, to see their success, that that's, you know, my success there, but, um, we're back, you know, we're here. I, I our attention has been fantastic from 23, 24. I mean, every year we need, we need to grow, but most of our agents have, have, uh, you know, stuck with it. Some have found different paths from 23. You know, some have gone on to maybe new construction sales in my avenue or, or property management, what have you. But I mean, it's 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 real estate. I mean, once once people get in, it's a it's a bug you just can't uh, can't shake. So an addiction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It is. I tell people all the time, like, look, real estate changed my life. Like literally, <laughs> it changed my life. <laughs> uh, so it's it's hard to uh, imagine myself doing anything else. Or you know how they say, oh, I hit the lottery, blah blah blah, and I'm like. Yeah, but I would still be doing something related to real estate. You know, even Absolutely. if I did hit the lottery one day, it's like, hmm, I would still be in real estate though. So Absolutely. That's funny. I I, I stopped playing the lottery when I started real estate. Mm-hmm. And I, I I don't I don't want my, my hopes going somewhere else, you know. I, my my right. goal is when we when we get focused on our on our real estate. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So Ethan, thank you so much for joining us today. Tell people how they can reach you, you know, if you want to drop your number, website, email, or whatever. But let us know how we can get in contact with you. Well, yeah, for sure. Uh, website is oceangroupnc.com. Uh, my direct number is 919-539-3804. Um, always open for a chat. Uh, we love uh, talking to, to new agents, you know, even agents or other firms, you know, we're getting connecting. Uh, all of our social media is at Ocean Realty Group. So you find us there, drop us a follow, we'll follow you back. And um, yeah, come 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 talk to us sometime. We're super excited times. We're moving to a new office. Um, I think we give you that message April and come see us. Uh if that uh if that's that that red sign up there with your name on it too. <laughs> so we're stoked for that. That's part of the growth. I mean, again, uh with, with the Asian Growth Podcast being the message here, um, we absolutely support that. I mean, every agent that's with us, we want to see you growing. And getting better and um the more i can do for that support that you never go and i always here for you oh thank you ethan i appreciate you so much so guys again ethan ocean broker owner of the ocean group i'm your lovely host april russell for more information about the podcast follow us on youtube agent growth lab podcast or of course you can go to agent growth lab podcast.com we'll see you on next week's episode have a good one That's a wrap on today's episode of the Agent Growth Lab podcast. Huge thanks to our insightful guest and to you, our dedicated listeners. If you're committed to growing your business and achieving your full potential, don't forget to subscribe and check out all the episodes at www.agentgrowthlabpodcast.com. Thanks for joining your host, April Russell. We will see you next week in the lab for another dose of inspiration and actionable advice.